hello and welcome to all students in this lecture we learn about a new major majors a uh, new major of uh, dispersion and uh, that major is called as variance and standard deviation okay so let us see the outline of our lecture first of all we see introduction then we define what is mean by variance then we write formula for variance then we write the definition of standard deviation and uh, then we write formula for standard deviation and finally we take some examples on variance and standard deviation okay so first of all we see the introductory part okay so up to now we have studied uh, some measures of dispersion and uh, in computing the mean deviation and out of this we in computing the mean deviation the signs of uh, the deviations are ignored so while computing mean deviation we have taken absolute deviation means <coughs> means positive differences so in this case we have neglected the signs okay so in uh, computing the mean deviation the signs of deviations are ignored and this is inconvenient for further mathematical treatment that is quite inconvenient for further mathematical treatment therefore we define another major of dispersion and which is more convenient for further mathematical treatment this major is also based on all the values of data the new major of dispersion that we are going to study here that is based on all values of the data and let us see the new major that is called as a variance v and how it is calculated and what is the definition of that variance that we will see now and it uh, the main work of this variance is to measure the dispersion of the given data okay so we write the definition if the variable x if the variable takes x values if the variable x takes values x1 comma x2 comma dot 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 comma xn with a respective frequencies f1 comma f2 comma dot 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 fn then the variance of x is defined as the definition is given and that definition is variance of x so that definition means that formula look quite complicated but don't bother about it so variance of x is equal to summation fi xi minus x bar bracket square divided by summation fi so once again i read this formula variance of x is equal to summation over i is equal to 1 to n fi into bracket xi minus x bar bracket square divided by summation over i equal to 1 to n fi so see here summation over is given summation over from i is equal to 1 to i is equal to n so i runs from 1 to n because there are n observations are given so variance of x is equal to summation fi xi minus x bar square 
i is equal to 1 to n whole divided by summation f i i runs from 1 to n so this is formula for variance where x bar is the arithmetic mean of x so we know that arithmetic mean of x is denoted by x bar now we define the standard deviation the positive square root of the variance is defined as the standard deviation the positive square root of the variance x is defined as the standard deviation it is in short it is called as s dot d dot of x and is denoted by sigma x and defined as sigma x is equal to square root of summation f i into x i minus x bar square i range from 1 to n and summation f i i range from 1 to n means sigma x is nothing but the square root of variance okay so that is simple so the positive square root of the variance is defined as the standard deviation that is the short definition the standard deviation of variable x is nothing but square root of variance of x square root of variance of x that is very simple <coughs> where x bar is the arithmetic mean of x where x bar is the arithmetic mean of x now we take we write some results and these results are useful while solving the problems in examples variance can be calculated easily by using the following formula so above formula of variance we simplify that formula and we uh, we find out the simplified form of uh, that formula and that formula we will use for solving examples if x takes values x1 comma x2 comma dot 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 xn and with frequencies f1 comma f2 comma dot 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 fn respectively then variance of x is equal to summation fi xi square i runs from 1 to n whole divided by summation fi i runs from 1 to n minus x bar square okay so this is simplified form of the above formula of variance and that formula we will use while solving the examples okay so that formula once again we read that formula variance of x is equal to summation fi xi square i runs from 1 to n whole divided by summation fi i runs from 1 to n minus x bar square okay so in this way we read this formula now let us from the above formula variance of x we can write like this variance of x is equal to summation fi xi square i runs from 1 to n whole divided by n minus x bar square now what is n here capital n is nothing but summation fi i runs from 1 to n means it is the summation of frequency so summation of frequencies means the total number of observations so n is nothing but the total number of observations and uh, total number of observations are calculated by taking sum of all frequencies okay therefore variance of x is equal to summation fi xi square i runs from 1 to n whole divided by n minus x bar square therefore 
स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन सिग्मा एक्स इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस सो इन साइड दैट स्क्वेर रूट आई हैव रिटर्न द अब फॉर्म्यूला ओके सो दैट अब फॉर्म्यूला इज नथिंग बट दिज अ वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स सो सिग्मा एक्स इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ समेशन एफ आई एक्स आई स्क्वेर आई रन फ्रॉम वन टू एन होल डिवाइडेड बाय एन माइनस एक्स बार स्क्वेर ओके सो दिस इज फॉर्म्यूला फॉर वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स हियर x bar is the arithmetic mean of x and how to calculate x bar in case of frequency distribution that is known to you okay how to calculate x bar means arithmetic mean for a given frequency distribution that thing is known to you okay so now we have some results in the above formula x bar is the arithmetic mean of x and it is given by this formula x bar is equal to summation f i x i i equal to 1 to n whole divided by summation f i i equal to 1 to n so this is our x bar or uh, that x bar we can write like the summation f i x i i equal to 1 to n whole divided by n so summation of f i i runs from 1 to n is nothing but n capital n okay now we write some note to calculate variance by using this formula we require the values of see here to calculate the variance and we look at the formula of variance in that formula we have we to to calculate variance in the formula of variance there are some terms if we know all these terms then we can find the value of variance so which terms we required to calculate the variance that terms are given here these terms are given here so summation f i i equal to 1 to n <coughs> that is the first term that we need I mean it is nothing but the total number of observations it is the frequency of it is the sum of all frequencies that is the total number of observations and uh, that term we need to calculate variance we will find that term next term is summation f i x i so we need sum of f i x i values i runs from 1 to n okay so product of frequency and observations and its sum then we need next term f i x i square i equal to 1 to n summation f i x i square i equal to 1 to n so this is third term which we need while finding the variance okay so the first two sums are calculated in the same way as in x bar okay so first two terms summation fi and summation fi xi these two terms are calculated and we these terms we have calculated for x bar <coughs> and these two terms how to calculate that we know while calculating arithmetic mean we have calculated these two terms so here also we have to calculate these two terms and we using these two terms we can find x bar and third sum calculated by creating the extra column for fi xi square in the table and putting the corresponding values in it okay that is very simple and let us take some examples now so let us solve some examples using <coughs> these concepts example number 1 question number 1 calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following data 
सी आर क्वेश्चन इज सिंपल कैलकुलेट द वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा सो फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज वेरियंस एंड सेकेंड इज स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एंड ऑल ऑफ यू नो द फॉर्मुलेज फॉर वेरियंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ओके सो डेटा इज गिवन टू यू सो डेटा इन द डेटा वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर गिवन मीन्स इट इज ए अनग्रुप्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज गिवन सो यर वैल्यूज ऑफ सो वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस टू एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज टू वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस वन एंड इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इज फाइव वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज जीरो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सिक्स वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज वन फ्रीक्वेंसी इज फोर वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज टू एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इज थ्री सो दिस इज शॉर्ट डेटा इज गिवन टू यू स्मॉल डेटा फॉर दैट डेटा वी कैलकुलेट वेरियंस एंड वी कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन सो वी नो दैट इफ एन इज इक्वल टू समेशन एफ आई आई इक्वल टू वन टू एन देन मीन एक्स बार इज गिवन बाय समेशन एफ आई एक्स आई डिवाइडेड बाय एन ऑब्वियसली आर इज फ्रॉम वन टू एन एंड एंड वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू समेशन एफ आई एक्स आई स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय एन माइनस एक्स बार स्क्वेर सो दीज आर द फॉर्मुले दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज हियर हियर एक्स आई डिनोट एक्स आई बाय एक्स एंड एफ आई बाय एफ एक्स आई मीन्स ऑब्जर्वेशन आई फ्रॉम वन टू एन सो जस्ट वी डिनोट इट बाय एक्स एंड एफ आई मीन्स फ्रीक्वेंसीज i is from 1 to n and just we denote these frequencies by f we prepare the table as follows now to solve this problem we have to prepare the table so for that table we need some columns and the column values are these first value for the this column this table for these columns is first column is first column heading is x second column heading is f <coughs> means we write frequencies here next column heading is x square square of observations next column is uh, fx product of frequencies and values of x next column is fx square fx square okay so now we write first value of observation x is minus 2 corresponding frequency is f and x square is 4 and fx product of f and x is uh, minus 4 and product of f and x square is 8 now second row or second value of observation is minus 1 its corresponding frequency is 5 and x square is 1 f x is minus 5 f x square is 5 so in this way we write all the observations and corresponding frequencies and corresponding values of x square f x and f x square okay so in the last row, last row we have written a total and that total we need total of f means frequencies Fre total of frequency is uh, Our total or sum of frequency is twenty, uh, and uh, that twenty is nothing but total number of observations, and uh, okay, and last second last call in the second last column we have written the sum of uh, values of f x, sum of values of f x, <coughs> sum of values of f x. So. So sum of values of f x is one, 
and in the last column we have written sum of values of fx square and that sum is 29 sum is 29 from the above table we can write n is equal to summation of f means frequency is 20 summation of fx is 1 summation of fx square is 29 and therefore we can calculate x bar means arithmetic mean by using formula x bar is equal to summation fx upon n summation fx is 1 and n is 20 therefore 1 upon 20 and it is equal to 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay so now here we have x bar and that is uh, has value 0 0.05 now we find the variance so formula for variance is variance of x is equal to summation fx square upon n minus x bar square now we put the values of all these terms so summation fx square is 29 value of n is 20 minus x bar is 0 0.05 and it's square and if we calculate this thing on your calculator uh, then uh, we have final value is 1.45 means variance of x is equal to 1.45 okay so in this way variance of x variance of given observations is calculated and the standard deviation now we find the standard deviation so standard deviation is denoted by sigma x standard deviation of x is denoted by sigma x and it is equal to square root of variance means square root of 1.45 and it is equal to 1 1.204 so this is standard deviation of given observations now we write some examples we write next example so calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following data so let us take next example so here also values of x and values of uh, corresponding values of f are given values of x and f are 0 2 2 3 4 5 6 6 8 4 so these are the values of x and corresponding values of frequencies and again we solve this problem for variance and standard deviation we know the formula for n n means summation of all frequencies then formula for arithmetic mean x bar is equal to summation fx upon n and then we write formula for variance of x variance of x is equal to summation fx square upon n minus x bar square now we prepare the table as follows okay so values of x fx as uh, we have prepared the table in the previous example on the same way we have to prepare that table the column headings are x f x square fx and fx square so values of x are 0 corresponding value of f is 2 corresponding value of x square is 0 value of fx is 0 and fx square is also 0 so in this way for all observations we write their corresponding values okay so <coughs> in this table we have written the summation of frequencies f so sum of frequencies is is a 20 okay and corresponding uh, sum of uh, fx is uh, 94 and sum of fx values of fx square is 564 from above table 
n equal to summation f and it is equal to 20 means sum of all observations total number of observations now sum of fx is 94 corresponding sum of fx square is 564 and therefore we can write the arithmetic mean x bar equal to summation fx upon n is equal to 94 upon 20 is equal to 4.7 so arithmetic mean x bar is equal to 4.7 that we will use in variance now we find the variance so variance of x is equal to summation fx square upon n minus x bar square and it is equal to summation fx square is 564 upon 20 and minus 46 uh, minus 4.7 square so if we calculate this value then for the first uh, division it is uh, 20 28.2 minus square of 4.7 is 22.09 and the subtraction is 6.11 therefore variance of x is 6.11 okay variance of x is 6.11 now we find the standard deviation the formula for standard deviation is sigma x is equal to square root of variance so variance is 6.11 therefore square root of 6.11 it is equal to 2.472 so this is the value of standard deviation for the given frequency distribution and let us take one question for homework you try to solve this problem at your own at homework as a homework solve this question and uh, solve this question in your notebook take a photo of uh, your answer and upload that photo submit that assignment on the google classroom okay and for any queries you can contact and for paying attention in this lecture thank you thank you very much